My name is Chuck Cutler. I am a general internist. I have lived in Philadelphia all of my life, and I practice general internal medicine in the Philadelphia suburbs. I grew up here, went to college in Philadelphia, and I graduated from Temple Medical School in the mid-1970s, and I liked North Broad Street so much, I did my residency also at Temple. And I stayed on the faculty for uh, about a year after my residency, and after that, I moved out to the suburbs into a private practice. I love what I do right now. I am a, a general internist. I work strictly in an office. I start um, each morning, uh, usually around seven o'clock, uh, and I see patients uh, one after another uh, until mid to late afternoon. Uh, and when I'm through seeing patients, uh, catch up on phone calls, uh, go over some lab work, and the days fly by, the weeks fly by, and in fact my life as a general internist has flown by. So I couldn't decide what I wanted to do with my life, and I thought internal medicine as a residency would give me a very broad understanding of uh, taking care of patients. I did that for three years and I liked everything in internal medicine, starting with cardiology, uh, nephrology, infectious diseases, and I couldn't decide what specialty I was really interested in. So I decided I would try primary care for a few years and when I got tired of it, it would come to me in a flash what specialty I was really interested in. It's really important for students uh, and residents to be in, involved in organized medicine. One of the great things about the medical profession is that our advocacy efforts are not for ourselves. Those efforts are for our patients. And who knows patients better than physicians, medical residents, and students? So what we do when we advocate is try to make medical care better, not for ourselves, but for the community and for our patients. Last year, I received the Pressman Award from the Pennsylvania chapter of the American College of Physicians. As a young doctor, I met Bob Pressman. He was an older physician at the time, a man of great compassion, wisdom, a man who really cared about everyone he met. To receive that award, to be able to stand in the shadow of Bob Pressman was a wonderful recognition of my service to the ACP. I think about it all the time and I have tried to emulate my career in a way that Bob Pressman would be proud of. My advice to medical students, residents, and early career physicians is to become involved. Stay involved with organized medicine. Stay involved with the American College of Physicians. Stay involved with your state medical association. The amount of work that you put in on the front end will actually be very small compared to the enormous sense of satisfaction you get on the back end when you're done with whatever advocacy effort you're involved in.